This is a custom budget PC by Haste Computer Repair, all packed into this Aza Solano 1000 PC case. So this build features an Intel i3-10100F, a 4-core, 8-thread, 10th generation Intel CPU, and just beyond the air intake is an MSI Radeon RX 5700 XT graphics card. So for RAM we have 16 gigabytes of 3200 MHz Timetech Pinnacle, and the CPU cooler is Thermorite Assassin 120X. Uh, great on a budget. The motherboard is an ASUS Prime H410M-A and you can see powering it all we have an as a 650 watt power supply. So this somewhat nostalgic looking PC case offers some pretty neat cooling options. Two 120 millimeter air intake fans in the front panel, a 180 millimeter intake fan right up against the graphics card and CPU cooler. And for air exhaust, we have another 180 millimeter fan up top. And just beyond the CPU cooler, there is one 120 millimeter air exhaust fan. Now these fans are connected via Molex, and there is one fan speed controller on the back that is labeled low, medium, and high. So that's a kind of a nice feature because of course with Molex, we won't be able to do fan speed control via the motherboard settings in BIOS. So there's a look at the MSI graphics card. We have Windows 11 installed on a Kingston 1TB NV2 NVMe solid state drive. And over here you can see that we have a Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive for storage. On the top IO of the case we have eSATA port, USB 2.0 microphone and headphone input, and of course the power button. On the rear I.O. of the motherboard, we have mouse and keyboard PS2 ports, VGA, DVI, and HDMI, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, microphone and headphone and audio in and out. On the graphics card, we have one HDMI port and three display ports. So now that we know a little bit about the hardware, let's check out the gaming and benchmarks. Where's that hospital the Firefly mentioned? Come on, kiddo. Once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. Hey. Keep hey. an eye out yeah. over there. I'll check this.
Here! Uh, uh. Uh. 